The new addition to the Xerox Hybrid Mail software is the ability to use Quick Post. So as per normal, if you actually log in with your username and password, on the right hand side you will notice now the Quick Post function and you just click on to the Quick Post icon and you will get a Royal Mail posting box that will actually appear on your desktop here. So when you've actually created your letters as per normal in a Word or PDF format, simply all you do now is grab that letter that you just produced and post that into the post box. So what the system will have actually done now is check to make sure that, that address is okay. But if the address didn't fit within this red window here on the left hand side, then you can actually move the address round just to make sure that that appears and goes in into that correct address zone there. And that is of, of course because we use windowed C5 and C4 envelopes over at the Xerox service delivery centers. On the right hand side you've got various posting options. So you can actually change that to first class and color if need be, but as a default everything would be second class and mono. So it's sometimes just directors or managers that have the ability to use that. And you can add attachments in there if you wanted to do that. And simply all you do is drag an attachment into the paper clip and it will actually add that into the, the document there. So if you want that to go, simply do is press post and then that will actually be sent through in over to the web portal there. You log back into the web portal and go into view queued mail. Then you can actually see that there's that item that we've just sent through. And if you needed to actually check that document, you can see that there's that front page that you've just sent over and you can just make sure that that attachment is in there as well. So as you can clearly see that there's that attachment within, ready to be posted there within the system. On the right hand side, we've got a countdown clock. At the moment, this one's set to 6 p.m. So you've got right up until 6 p.m. to actually post any documents through to Xerox. Once that actually goes down to zero, and then what we call it is a scheduled release, then everything will go to print. So you're just reassured there that once that clock goes down to zero, then you've got all that posting time in the day ready to actually send any items through. If you didn't actually want to send any particular items through, then simply all you do is highlight that letter that you don't want to send through, and you can actually delete that out of the queue there. So that's how, you, how quick it is to send a single letter through the quick post function there. If there were any items that you sent through and they had an incorrect address, so I'll just show you one here that I've put together and I've just X'd out the top line of the address within this particular letter here there. And put that into the post box and then straight away what it will actually tell you is the address is ambiguous. But the beauty about using quick post, it will actually give you some options for the correct address in there. So simply all you do is correctly select the correct address there. It will auto populate the address to make sure that's okay. Again, you can actually move that address around if it didn't fit within the proper window there. Got the various posts and options as, as per before. And then if you're happy with that to go, simply all you do is press post. You can log back into the web portal, see that letter that we've just sent through and just check to make sure that that address has been auto populated and corrected and as you can see that's all okay and ready to be sent there. So a really fast way of sending items through with an incorrect address, you can actually select the correct address through and make sure that that's okay. Again if you want to delete any items you can delete those out of the queue because you've got right up until 6pm to actually post any items through the system there. The quick post option also works with mail merges. So I've got a mail merge document here. Again, post that into the post box. Straight away, it's actually told us that there's multiple addresses detected. So you can actually see that there's all those different addresses there going out to those six different people there. Again, you've got posting options uh, for first class, second class, add attachments. And then simply all you do is click on the post the file as six separate letters and then that can be sent through and it'll say post successful. And also, as I mentioned earlier, it will work on PDFs as well. So I've got a couple of extra letters in this PDF. Straight away, it's recognized 
that there's all the, the multiple addresses there. You can scroll through just to make sure that they're okay. And then all you do is post that file as eight separate letters. And then you can go through to the web portal and just make sure that that mail merge document has gone through. So just click on refresh and there's all those letters that we've sent through in a Word format and also in a PDF format. So you can send thousands of letters through, which you do get with some clients sending them through by using that quick post option on, on a mail merge. So from a user perspective, all you really need to get familiar with is the queued mail, the returned item and archive. If there are only letters that you send through quick post and they do get rejected, you get a little pop up to say that they've been rejected and you can actually go into view rejected mail and then you can actually see the reason for any rejected mail that's gone through the, through the system there. So you can actually go back into the system and obviously update your, your database or correct that particular mailing that you wanted to go out through the system there. But as I mentioned, it's the queued, returned and archive that you'll be using mo mainly on a daily basis. So just to cover off a quick bit on returned mail. So anything that comes back into the Xerox Service Delivery Center, we will actually scan the 2D barcode, which is in the window of the letter. So you never need to actually physically open that uh, letter. letter, And it will have a Royal Mail red sticker on there for the reason for the return on there. So simply all we do is we highlight the, the reason for the, for the return there. So for example, address he gone away, scan that 2D barcode. And what the user gets is an exact copy of that original letter that they've, they've sent out through the system. So you can go in and see that original letter that's been sent out. You can see when it was created, when it was printed, and when it was actually returned as well. You can also set it up so an ad admin user or, or manager can receive all that information in a, a CSV format. So here's an example here of what you could actually receive on a daily basis in a, in a returned mail. And of course, any of these reporting documents that need to be set up, we can do those up, set those up accordingly for particular clients and, and users. Uh, so you see there the, the user that sent that particular letter out, data was sent, data was returned, and more importantly, the reason for return in there. So you can get that on a daily basis just to show you how many items were returned back into the service delivery center if you didn't have enough time to actually log in and see the return mail within that portal there and see those and just to cover off a little bit on archive mail so anything that's been sent out over a 90 day period would appear within this archive here so say for example somebody phones through and says they didn't receive their letter you can go in there tag the recipient's name go into that particular letter that they're, they're actually talking about there and you can actually see when it was created. This particular one is an email, but if it was actually a physical letter, you'd have more detail in there as well, but you can actually see when that was actually sent out. And from there, you can actually download it to your desktop and possibly email it over to that particular person if need be, or you can click on print and you can automatically send that through the print driver again if you wanted to send that as a, as a physical mail piece through the system. So that really covers off everything to do with uh, quick post and as I said earlier the only ones you really need to get familiar with are the queued returned and the archived and anything that has actually been rejected through you can actually see that in the system as well.